Welcome, distinguished trustees, presidents, provosts, faculty leaders, students, and staff. I'm very pleased to have a part in celebrating the 50th anniversary of the California State University Academic Senate. We have some lofty and significant goals ahead of us, including having more than 400,000 students to educate and many more in the pipeline. We have to reach out to and support our students from a wide range of different backgrounds. We have to help shape and adapt to the emerging educational technologies and learning ecologies. And we have to seek resources from many places and be accountable and wise stewards of them. We have to tell our story again and again to our policymakers and throughout our communities to make sure that people understand the magnitude and significance of what we do for California's future prosperity. As for the Academic Senate, I know that this group is founded on the principle of shared governance. I often get people's attention when I tell them I don't believe in shared governance. But before finishing that sentence, I state that I believe in shared leadership. This means to me that we work together as partners on substantive issues to obtain the best possible results. And that we have to have a mutual responsibility to contribute to well-reasoned and thoughtful outcomes. To me, shared leadership represents the very essence of what higher education should be, modeling for our communities and for our greater society. Leadership isn't about telling other people what to do. It's about having the ability to work together with others, aligning responsibility, accountability, and authority, and moving forward constructively toward a common goal. I know that we all share the goal of being the best we can be for the students of California and for California's future prosperity. I'm looking forward to working with you in the years to come. Thank you for your leadership and your service to this great institution, and congratulations on the 50th anniversary and best wishes for the 50 years yet to be.